ったかな said it's knackered and it needs work but first off I think that stand is pretty much gone I mean I can probably re-weld it but it probably won't make a hell of a difference and it's missing this little circle thing right there but it was a windmaker and it was cheap and I kind of have a soft spot for a windmaker so there you go but yeah it is a windmaker guaranteed fans Field British Manufacturing Company Incorporated of Houston Texas and model number, of course, let's look at the model number, 560. Yeah, like a quarter horsepower, 6500 amp, continuous duty, 52 watts, 115 volts, 60 cycles, 1550 RPMs. The motor was made by Thomas Beckett and Company of Dallas, Texas. So, yeah, this is obviously a Texas-made fiend. So yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna plug it up and we'll give it a go. Yeah. So I guess we're ready. Here's on. powerful I would, as I would like it to be, but anyway, no high, no low, so off we go. The motor's rated for like 65 hundredths of an amp and 52 watts, so let's see what we got. Hmm, running a bit high. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. No, 65 hundredths and it's at 68, so just a tad high. And the wattage? A little bit low, so surprisingly, amperage is a little high, wattage is a little low. A good thing? I don't know. Obligatory noise. And let's do the spin down time again. Well, before I forget, there is a couple things I'm going to need to do. One, replace that switch, because it's a little bit, in fact, this whole fan is knackered. I mean, the motor is all beat up. I mean, and this cord, I mean, it's a vacuum cleaner cord. A little overkill, don't you think? <laughs> and it does have oil ports, so I'm going to have to oil it. So, yeah. And in addition to that motor, how, like I said, I said I'm going to replace a switch, so... Cool. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video of this unboxing, show and tell, and very badly put together video of this Windmaker 560. So yeah, I bought it because hell, I still have a soft spot for Windmakers, okay? I mean, I'm not even familiar with this, and even this, if I did see this in my uh, school age, school days, it probably wouldn't even been used because it's really unsafe. I mean, look at it. You could slice her hand off of this. But, yeah. 
Now as for the cage itself, I mean I could easily just try and weld everything together, but I'm going to see what uh, that um, old uh, Hawaiian breeze cage can do, because that fan finally died after like 10 years. Maybe 11, I don't know. But yeah, that was the one I had in my bathroom, so I'll figure something out to do with that. Something to do with this and everything else. So until next time, wherever it is, I'm Eski with the Fashion Fail again. Thanks for watching. And the comment box is open.